what's up lock and load squad welcome back to the channel guys listen to me today is sunday it's fun day you know how we do it in jamaica right now guys it is a tradition to whenever we are doing a big project we must draw some blood so oc and nick and roy up at the farm killed a whoop what, what is it an alpha a alpine ram goat guys so we have the footage of that not too gruesome though and then we have dave here and myself we're going to cook it up differently than curry goat guys we're gonna twist it up a little bit than the traditional curry goat vibe in jamaica so right now we have tenfa and we have shania by the pool nick oc and john is here guys and you know this is gonna be a vibe here they are right here there's uncle john the zimmy you got oc right there and then of course you know you always have nick you have chef dave over there guys so you don't know guys stick and stay this is gonna be a vibe trust me what's up bro so Oi. tell tell the subscribers today what kind of style are we going to be doing these goat legs so we we're, we're gonna uh, put them on uh the bomb mm -hmm. that's and the bomb right here guys that's our bomb. big smoker right here that's and right we seasoned them up from last night mm -hmm. we got the front leg and the what back what leg. did you season it up with we seasoned up with Natural seasoning. Natural seasoning. Right. So oh, like scallion, onion, scallion garlic, onion, garlic, scotch bonnet. Exactly. And right. a little uh, natural dry seasoning. Right. Our like own the butter. Special blend. Gluten free. Yeah. Alright. So you and don't know. So what you're gonna do now, you're gonna fire up the grill. What is this right grill. here? So we have some sweet wood. Sweet wood. Right. So we're gonna roast the legs on the sweet wood. Right. For the first four or five hours. Right. And then we're gonna wrap them in foil so they can steam on themselves and get soft and nice <laughs> while we finish up the chicken. All right, so you're gonna fire up the grill right now. Yeah, man. All right. So guys, you heard that, right? So we have some sweet wood here. What we're gonna put the goat legs, well, the hips, right, on there. Um, we did not take the meat off of it. We just took off the silver skin, and we are gonna throw them legs on here, guys. And we are going to slowly jerk them on some sweet wood for about four or five hours and then we're gonna wrap them in some foil and see how that goes we're just going yo this is the first time me and dave is doing this right dave yeah so we are gonna see how it goes i know it's gonna taste good trust me because you know when lock and load fire up that grill up it's not gonna be normal all right guys so here's uncle dave chef dave starting up his fire and lighting it up we have got a beautiful cruise ship in there right there guys everybody's just chilling out here today you know, it's just Sunday fun day in Jamaica, guys. Wish you guys were here. One love. So this is the goat. The legs been marinated. Natural seasoning. All right, Dave, let's go. Let's put them on. Alright, so how long are you gonna put that on there for? Probably three, four hours at least. Low and slow, right? Low and slow. Alright, lock it up and let's get the show on the road. Alright guys, so the goat is on the grill right now guys and about four hours we'll then check it take it off and see what's going on with it guys and then afterwards we're gonna put the jerk chicken on there and then Dave is gonna whip up his famous macaroni and cheese guys so stay tuned all right guys so you know I'm very 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 interested to see how this is gonna taste because normally guys you know in the Jamaican tradition you're gonna curry the goat but yo we are grilled the goat you see me on some sweet wood for about four hours so Dave what do you think I think, I think it's gonna be nice. That's right. Osi, what do you think, Osi? Come never, on. Never ever seen it before, you know. Right. Seen it there first. That's right, guys. Have you ever seen it? Yes, you go with me, so it yes. <laughs> That's right, guys. So yo, trust me, I'm I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out, guys.
All right, guys. So now we're making my, according to David, my famous mac and cheese because right. he loves my mac and cheese. So the first thing we do is we make a little roux. So to make the roux, we take a little onion and we're going to dice this onion nice and small. And then after I dice the onion, then I'm going to saute it with a little bit of butter and add some flour and salt to it. And then we're going to cook it down. So we have to melt some butter and wait, me measure never. So a little, little butter. This butter melts, and then we're gonna add the onion and then some flour. So, so now we're gonna saute some. Uh, we have some butter melting. We're gonna saute some onion in there with a little bit of salt. Help the onion break down. And we're just going to saute it until it's soft. And like I said earlier, I don't measure anything by sight, smell. So. And you, what we want to do is make this into a paste, and we want to cook the flour. You want, you don't want the flour not to be cooked, so just like in your dumpling, you want the flour cooked. So just cook it down. So, to know the flour is cooked, it starts to get a light brown tint to the onion and butter mix. That way you know the flour is cooked. And you can start seeing the color change. It was a bright yellow earlier, it's now like a very light yellow. And it's soon going to start turning like a light brown. You see it turning brown, so I'm gonna add, this is evaporated milk. You could use regular milk if you want, but it just takes much longer to cook. Cook down, by using the evaporated milk, you've taken the moisture, a lot of the moisture out already and condensed the milk. So we just bring that to temperature, which will take a minute or so. And then we're going to add some Parmesan. If you notice, I haven't used a lot of salt at this point, but the Parmesan is going to add salt to the recipe natural salt and some black pepper and 
you see how quickly that starts to thicken up? So at this point I'm turning off the heat. I'm going to add some heavy cream to it. Or, or cooking cream, depending on what you have. You see how nice, creamy and thick that is. And then we're gonna add grated cheddar cheese. Now I have a nice creamy sauce. And once we finish cooking the pasta, we just add this to the add this to the pasta, and then we we'll put it in the oven to bake. Or in this case, we we'll, we may put it on the grill to bake tonight. The pasta is cooked, so now we're going to take the pasta. And we're going to put it in this pan. with the pasta. Alright guys, so this has been on there to go for about two and a half hours and this is what we're gonna check it now to see. Ready day watch this steam. Look at that! Oh my god guys, just just can you smell that? Wow. Look oh man. OC! Okay, here OC. Take the first bite of the goat. So, this is the Alpine from the farm. You know, as Charlie, I call him Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and Jerry, Jerry never get this a time, no curry no go on. You know? This is a lock and load style, brother. I want to see it. Yeah. That's see right. It here We're not doing the regular time. basic curry goat, man. We're, you know, we have to twist things up, brother. Is it okay? Yes, I still be. <laughs> Ten for. Oh. Oh, <clears throat> oh man. Oh, Who is in the chair? Nice. I can't find that one. You know what I said? Be done. Bye, guys. Done.
You just have the little bit of the rum after the taste. You know the rum goat at the end. It tastes like true beef, brother. But I want to do this with the alpine. It's a burn your fuck. Hot the fuck? This ain't it tastes like regular goat. No, bro. Yo. Mmm. 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 John and I are going to eat meat again in your life. Bro. Yo, Jesus. Put a piece with tinfoil. Yeah. Yeah, put a piece in the deal. Put a piece in the deal. Put a piece in the deal. Ah, motherfucker. Hot. Here, there are four right here. here. See you, bro. Put in the juice, bro. And you get your honest opinion. Your honest mm -hmm. answer. Mm -hmm. No, man. This is the guy always behind the scenes, I'm guys. I'm blow this off. No, man. Hot for weekend. That bad though. Yo! You see the rum goat flavor right at the Yo. end. Yo! What is that? That's rum goat, bro. Rum goat, man. Can I have an oxtail thing to it? They're not telling you, it's on your head. A roast. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're good. Come on, try right, it. Yeah. That's the first you're going to try that goat. Right? Yeah. It's like stew beef with a little bit of the rum in the end. It's really good. I like it. Turn off that one, brother. I'm surprised. I'm impressed. It's good. It's good. It's really good. But not too. Yeah. But not the use one. Tell us when we can trust them. Tell us. That's right. Can trust them. I put a bit, but you want to try yeah. jerk chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get some nice cheese. You have enough light on it. It's like. What we're gonna do? Put it back in there, right? Let's just put it back in there. Mm -hmm. Or is it too much gravy in there? I think we get one of the smaller ones. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we're gonna cut up the goat now. It's been on there for four hours total cooking. This is the best part right here. <laughs> you know that, right, dude? Mm-hmm. Let me get in here this side. Look at that, like both of them. Look at this guys, come around here, Nick. Come in here. See this guys? That pink is a smoke. Alright. Let me know who has ever seen that on goat. Why am I tell it brother? Dave? That smell is rum. Watch it. Dude, my dentures just fall, bro. <laughs> dentures not gone nowhere. What is it, guys? Bad to the bone. Bad. Alright. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is this special mac and cheese. Look at that guys. That is cheese. And of course, mac and no chicken. And here we have the grilled goat. This is something special man. I don't think most of you have ever seen anything like this. Tell me what I'm going on. Looking at the camera, bro. What I'm going for the goat. 
You got goat, macaroni and cheese. Tell me about chicken. this map first, this cheese bad. Well, I said the macaroni and cheese bad, oh, true. Sure. Yeah man, Dave made the best macaroni and cheese. Talk about the Tell me what I'm going for the roast goat yeah. Six hours. Tender, succulent. What you say? Never taste nothing. Eh? Bad, don't you? Never taste nothing like that, guys. Never. It's like stew beef, but at the end you have a hint of that ram goat. The ram goat bad. flavor, that's what I'm saying. Yo. Guys, you need to try this, trust me. Six hours on that grill, and then we put it in the oven for a little bit to just go on, fall in love with the juice, them guys. Trust me, you guys need to try it. All right, guys, so that's all we have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The goat was absolutely delicious. That's the first I've been doing roast goat. I've never done that before, but it turned out great, guys. So remember, like, share, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Trust me, we appreciate everything you guys do. One love until next time. Bless up.